Okay guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how you factorise into double brackets. So just remember, factorising means when you take something like this and we stick it back into brackets. Okay, so, looking at this here, going back into when we were multiplying uh, double uh, double brackets, we used our grid. So here's my grid again, and because I'm factorising back into double brackets, I'm going to use this grid. Now because I've got an x squared here, it's very obvious, especially when you've watched the uh, expanding double brackets and how we did that, that the x squared goes there. And how do I get that? Well, x times x. Okay, so x times x gets me the x squared, which is the x squared there. The next thing is this plus 24. So plus 24 goes down there. Now there's different ways that you can make 24 by multiplying, so let's write those down. You can have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. Okay. Now, looking at these pairings, we then need to decide which one of these can I use to help me to get 10. So which one of these can I add together to get 10x? So let's have a look. Well, I've got two choices here, actually. I've got this 4 and 6, I can get 10, but I also have 2 and 12. Now one of them is correct and one of them is wrong. I'll do the correct one first and I'll show you why the other one's wrong in a minute. The correct one here is 4 and 6. So if I then put 4 and 6 in here, I can then times this. 6 times x is 6x, 4 times x is 4x. Okay, then when I add these two together, 6x plus 4x, I get 10x, and 4 times 6 is 24. So my answer is back up here. So remember, these are plus 4 and plus 6. So my answer will be one bracket with x plus 4, and in my other bracket, x plus 6. So as I said, there is this one here is another way of getting 10x. I could do 12, take away 2. That will also get me 10. But if I put that into my grid, if I just quickly sketch one here, there's my x squared, there's my x, there's my x, there's my 24. And if I chose 2 and 12, I would have 12x and 2x. Now, of course, to get that, I would have to have 12x minus 2x to get 10x. But if I have this as minus 2x, that will have to be minus 2. And unfortunately, 12 times minus 2 does not get you plus 24. It would get you minus 24. So that one would not work. It has to be the 6 and the 4. Just something to be aware of, because sometimes you do get two options. Next one here, I've got minus 24. Don't worry about that being minus 24. We're still just going to look at numbers that multiply to get 24. So I'm going to have exactly the same as before. 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Okay, so don't worry about being minus 24. I'm just worried about what numbers multiply to get 24. Let's fill in what we know. Well, I know that's going to be an x squared, and therefore that's an x and an x and that's going to be minus 24 there. Now this time I'm after a 5, so which one of these pairs can I use to get a 5? Well, hopefully you can spot it's the 3 and the 8. Okay, so all I do is I put my 8 there, and I put my 3 there. It can be the other way around, does not matter. That will give me 8x and 3x. I want 5x. So what do I do to 8x and 3x to get 5x? Well, I do 8x take away 3x. Now, what does that mean? Well, x times 3 would be 3x. So if I change that to minus 3, x times minus 3 gets me the minus 3x. And there's our answer again. x minus 3, and then x plus. That's a plus there. So x plus 8. Okay. Let's have a look at some more examples here. So a different number this time. This time it's minus 12. And obviously I've got my x squared. So x squared 
and minus 12. Now don't worry about being minus 12, I'm just going to look at numbers that multiply to get 12. So I have 1 and 12, 2, 6, 3 and 4. Now, looking at these, how can I get 4x? Again, don't worry about the minus just yet, how can I get a 4? Well, I can't do nothing with that, ah, there we go, look, 2 and 6. That can definitely be used to get 4. So I've got my x and x to make x squared. 2 and 6, like we've just spotted, which will give me 6x and 2x. So what do I do to 6x and 2x to get minus 4x? Well, I'm going to have to do 2x minus 6x. That's going to get me the minus 4x. So of course, again, don't forget to add the minus there. So x times minus 6 is your minus 6x. And that's going to be positive 2, so it's plus 2. And there's your answer. X minus 6 is on top. X plus 2 is on the side there. Next one here again, I've got my X squared. So X and X. This time it's plus 12. But again, don't let the, the plus or the minus trip you up. Just find numbers that multiply to get 12. So again, I've got 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. This time, though, I'm after minus 8. So which pair can I use, adding or subtracting, to get that minus 8? Can't do nothing with that one. Looks like I've got the 2 and the 6 again. I can definitely use them to get an 8. So let's put them in, which gives me 2x and 6x. So how do I get to minus 8x? Well, if I take away 6x, and take away 2x, I'm going to have minus 8x. So don't forget, if you do that, it's not a problem, but obviously that'll be minus 6, and that'll be minus 2. So minus 2 times x is minus 2x, x times minus 6 is minus 6x. So minus 2x, minus 6x, minus 8x, and just bear in mind, always double check, just like that very first example, that minus 2 times minus 6 gives you plus 12. Yes, it does, because a minus times a minus is a positive. So that's absolutely fine. So x take away 6, and then x minus 2 is your answer for that one. And last but not least, one that does come up every now and again in exams is something like this. Okay? Don't let that put you off. It's just x squared plus or minus, to be fair, 0x. Basically, that's been completely cancelled out. So it's just based on that. This is exactly the same as this, but obviously we don't worry about the 0x. It's just 0x, so it's nothing. That's why it gets simplified to this. But technically, that's what we're dealing with. So I put my x squared in like I've done in all the others. I've got minus 25. And then ask yourself again, what numbers multiply to get 25? Well, I've got 1 and 25. 5 and 5. And this time that I'm after that 0. So which pair of these can I use to get 0? Well, it's going to be 5 and 5. So 5 and 5, which will be 5x and 5x when you multiply them out. But again, I want 0. So one of them is going to have to be minus. So 5x minus 5x is nothing. If I've changed that to a minus 5x, that has to be a minus and therefore you've done it. 5 times minus 5 is minus 25. 5x take away 5x is nothing. Brilliant. So x minus 5, x plus 5. And obviously because 25 is a square number, hopefully you've spotted that that'll be the pairing anyway. Hopefully that helps, guys. Cheers.